evening viewers and welcome back to yet another episode of Generation C. If you see Generation C on your screens, you know that our, our youth weekly youth paper the called The Zone is out. You can find our youth paper in the Namibian Sun, the Algamina Saitung and the Republican. Of course, today is Black Cat Appreciation Day. <music> Um, on our front page, if you had a look, you will see that we have an inspiring young lady called Tulika Nafuka, who is the driving force behind the campaign to establish a sex offenders register in Namibia. I can see that young girls are out there to educate the Namibian community. The Sex Offenders Registry, SOR, is a data page which profiles sex offenders and allows community notifications of offenders in their town. I'm so excited to see that the Namibian girls and the Namibian child is out there to hold hands to the communities and to educate them. of International Youth Day, which we celebrated last week, a team from my zone visited Augustinium Secondary School in Ventuk and asked them whether the Youth Day is celebrated like it should be in Namibia. And this is what they had to say. My name is Yofili Alfonso, a grade 10 learner at Augustinium currently. I believe International Youth Day is huge. It's mainly organized for the youth to get together, share different experience and inspirations. I believe if only we take control of everything regarding youth related celebrations, we have no one to we have no one better than ourselves. We as a youth are the future leaders so we can make a change. I go by the name of Marichela Peters. I'm a learner at Agustinian Secondary School. I'm currently in grade ten. Um, I think International Youth Day is very important to know to young people because it, it aims to promote the ways to ensure them to ensure them in becoming more actively involved. By the name of Mary Enlau, I'm a learner at the Augustinian Secondary School. I think youth, youth day is a huge thing in Namibia because as a youth we are the future leaders we can make a change. Youth day gives us as a youth opportunity to celebrate and mainstream young people's voices, actions and is their meaningful universe. My name is Akiwa Julia, currently in grade 10. I think the, the International Youth Day is huge in Namibia because International Youth Day gives the world an opportunity to recognize the potential of the youth, to celebrate their achievements and plan for ways for better for better achievements young people young people try to succeed to successfully do their My things name is mario garizet and i'm in grade 10d augustinian secondary school and i consider youth day as a huge occasion for the namibian youth because it helps keep them motivated and high-spirited in the importance of the young generation youth day is one of Namibia's biggest inspirations because Namibia's youth rights are being brought forward. And it's a huge occasion for the Namibian. By the name of Asina Johannes, currently in grade 10 E at Augustinium Secondary School. I don't really think that uh, International Youth Day is mostly celebrated in Namibia because people because we as Namibians don't take it really seriously. Um, I think young people should start awareness and start encouraging people to um, or start up with groups or something so we encourage the young people of Namibia. 
It's so exciting to see that Namibian corporate companies are allowing and helping communities wherever they are established. B2 Gold Namibia in Ochivarango recently inaugurated um, a school called Ombili Primary School in Ochivarango to the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture. This whole project was worth three million um, Namibian dollars. The newly built school was inaugurated by the governor of Osadin Juba region, James Urikwa. Speaking about donations, Vurman and Brock Week Head Trust donated protective material to yet another school in Ventuk, Morrison Special School, on, on Thursday. The decision to make this donation was, of course, by approach by their principal, and the, and the donation was with mask and floor stickers for the distance. Thank you very much for corporate companies that's assisting schools um, during these difficult times. Of course, we all know that the grade pre-primary school up to grade nine and learners are not attending school. And to keep your children busy, of course, parents, guardians, um, please assist your children by helping them with their homework, trying to do research and all that. It's very important that we assist our children. And if you are in primary school, you can contact MyZone and you can get copies of booklets that can keep your child busy during these few weeks after their research, which, which they'll go back to school. Have it. It's another focus edition that Namibia Media Holdings is busy with. If you're interested, please contact the, the number on the screen. A very interesting focus article that we had this week in the zone was regarding the supply of contraceptives in our country. One of our journalists spoke to the executive director of the Ministry of Health and Social Services, Ben Nangombe, and he spoke about the lack of contraceptives in our country. If you want to read more about that article, please grab the zone. And of course, if you want to get in touch to see how you can assist the government, we are here to help you with the contact details. Last week, Thursday, Guriyanghab Junior Secondary School in Ventuk received a new laboratory and library which was built through the Namibia Institute of Mining and Technology, NAMT. My colleague uh, Elizabeth attended the inauguration ceremony and here is a video as how it went about. Thursday, the 13th of August, 2020. I'm very grateful to you, Honorable Laura Mekrod Pashiro, the Governor of Commerce Region, and Honorable Ruben Shehama, Councillor of Katatura East Constituency, for taking time off from your busy schedule to attend this big milestone in the Korean Cup Secondary School, East West School, in Bendu. In 2020, Korea Club Secondary School turned 59 years old. History will never be kind to us if we fail to develop this historical monument. When this school was established, it was known as Stats Nam School, that later changed to Damara Boya Premier School, only catering for Damara Nama speaking children in this vicinity. When they struggle for independence and integration in this fight, the name of the school was once again changed to the current Koryanka Secondary School. And as we are and as we speak now, 
The school is pure multicultural and it's open to every Namibian child and staff who are from different parts of the country. It is very spacious to allow both individuals and groups work and I believe that the learners of Korea Hub Secondary School will use it to obtain a better scientific understanding. Currently libraries have been round, around for that matter for a very long time and are traditionally seen as collection of information and services. Directors of ceremony libraries, laboratories or libraries, they play a significant role in improving learners' performance and enhancing their knowledge. As I observe and witness today, Korea Hub Secondary School, we have been given a well-designed library that must be filled with valuable resources in the form of books and other related types of materials. I think it is now up to us to make sure that it is stopped. And that is when only it can be called a library. So please allow learners, and I mean now the school management, allow learners to use it as a place where they can have free access to a quiet place to study and to expand their knowledge. I cannot think of a more befitting way to show my gratitude than saying Thank you once again. There you have it. The zone is packed with youth news and corporate companies assisting um, the community, the Namibian community. And of course, take your time to read through it. If you have any stories that you want to contribute to the zone, do not hesitate to contact one of the journalists. And I was so happy to be your host for today's show. Do enjoy your Tuesday and stay tuned to our Facebook.